criminal litigation defense lawyer basically means uh, b stabbed a you are defending b okay uh and everybody in society you know generally are like why is he supporting that murderer or that rape accused or this you know offender or you know all these things happen i mm. do this everybody do this okay mm. uh how do you think how do your family see is there a case where the morality and consciousness was like your family was like no let don't do it and then you did it and then something else came out of it yeah this happens very very often you won't believe at times i get threats on my social handles oh yeah that was my question you get threats yeah of course what what kind of threats like serious um, serious threats i won't go into it but serious threats uh, where is your office uh, we are sending someone to take care i won't get into oh it but ha yeah, of course there are threats facebook to bhara hua hoga i don't even log in there mujhe yaad nahi last minute kab kiya tha but whenever uh, these kind of cases come in fact sometimes uh, victim family theek hai wo karte hain threat कोर्ट में थ्रेट करते हैं कितनी बार मिसबिहेव करते हैं अब्यूज करते हैं ऑफ कोर्स बार इज देयर टू प्रोटेक्ट अस सी एल टी पहली बात मेरे बार काउंसिल रूल्स ठीक है और एडवोकेट एक्ट ये दो मुझे एम्पावर करते हैं हर एक इंसान को रिप्रेजेंटेशन देने के लिए एंड बार काउंसिल रूल्स से डायरेक्टली टू द कॉन्ट्री we cannot say any lawyer in this country cannot say no to any person to defend their case only on the ground that he thinks he has done something wrong or people think he has done something wrong or a bunch of people or society think they have done something wrong they everyone need have everyone has a right to be legally represented and that is a right which is guaranteed by the indian constitution तो वो लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेशन का राइट कैन नॉट बी टेकन अवे एंड आई कैन नॉट से नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू जो भी ये बोल रहा है और जो इस प्रिंसिपल पे काम कर रहा है माय लाइसेंस कैन बी रिवोक्ड बाय द बार काउंसिल इफ आई डू सो इफ आई एम सेइंग कि मैं नहीं आपको रिप्रेजेंट करूंगा क्योंकि मुझे लगता है आपने कुछ गलत किया दैट इज फॉर द कोर्ट फॉर डिसाइड गो टू डिसाइड इट इज नॉट अप टू मी वॉट आई कैन डू इज या तो मैं उसका केस रिप्रेजेंट करूं या मैं ना रिप्रेजेंट करूं ऑन द ग्राउंड दैट आई एम नॉट अवेलेबल या आई हैव सम अदर कमिटमेंट्स दैट इज ओके बट ऑन द ग्राउंड कि मुझे लगता है आपने ये किया है तो मैं नहीं करूंगा दैट इज रॉन्ग आई गिव यू अ वेरी गुड एग्जांपल एक केस में आई वोट टेक नेम्स बट आई गिव यू अस देर वॉज दिस केस अ पॉक्सो केस इन माई ऑफिस इसमें क्या हुआ इट्स अ वेरी द चाइल्ड प्रोटेक्शन हाँ जी हाँ जी इट्स अ प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम सेक्शुअल ऑफेंसेस इट्स अ स्पेसिफिक एक्ट व्हिच केम इनटू एग्जिस्टेंस आफ्टर ऑफ कोर्स निर्भया केस इन 2013 there are a lot of famous cases happened after that asram uh, of course of course lot of, not famous per se but high profile cases Al- famous sahi term nahi hoga use yeah karne. sorry famous is not the right word but uh, yeah, high profile cases ha bahut hua bahut aaya hai iske mein ki aise iska ho raha hai person of course there was this poxo case and uh, the victim was a school going child of merely 6 6 and a half years so of course the file came and of course स्ट्रकर्स की भाई छः सवा साढ़े छः साल की बच्ची है एंड देर इज केस एंड द ब्रीफ आई वॉज द ब्रीफ केम एंड आई वॉज लाइक कि थिंग्स आर नॉट वॉट इट इट इज बींग पोट्रेड द वे दे आर बींग पोट्रेड तो ऑफकोर्स जो केस लेके आए थे वो एक लॉयर की रेफरेंस से ही केस आया था तो उनके साथ डिस्कस किया एंड यू वोट बिलीव most of the associates in my office were like sir don't take this case we are not finding conscience to do this case please especially uh, my female staff they were not with me on this and i said all right let's do it and if we'll find something like this i i I'll, i'll i'll leave this case but trust me it's it's far from what you are thinking 
So what happened that there was a dis this this the allegations I'll tell you first. The allegations were that uh, this uh, victim, this uh, child, was going to school, uh, and the uh, she was going through school bus, and the conductor uh, of the school bus assaulted this child. So these were the allegations. Okay. So of course, school people also came and told me that this is not possible. As I asked, is there any dispute going on between uh, parents and you? And they say, of course, there is a fee, uh, dispute going on between the mother of the child and between the school administration on the fees issue. She wanted her child to be enrolled as a, as, as a student under AWS, but the school was saying, no, we cannot do that. Whatever the AW reason came. AWS is? EWS economic uh, weaker section. I think there okay, is this okay. uh, class EWS. education, uh, education yeah, system, yeah. You know, where you, of course, you get uh, benefits, wo fees utna nahi dena padta and all. Hota hoga kuch. So EWS, deep me itna mujhe bhi nahi pata, but EWS. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, so, okay. And this, I said, this incident, the way she's claiming cannot take place because we have a policy. And so what is the policy? How are you so sure? Said that because the moment school bus leaves our school in the morning, there are CCTV cameras in each and every school bus. The moment the bus leaves, the camera is switched on. The first person to get into the bus is a school teacher. The first person to get out of the uh, the, the last person to get out of the bus is a school teacher. So it's not possible. I said, okay, get me those CCTV footages. Okay. So while I was going through the CCTV footages. The allegations were of 22nd and 23rd December. The kid was not was not in, even in that in the bus. She was absent. On both the days. On both the days. And uh, somehow one of the teachers were involved in that because she was present, she was marked as present in the school register, the attendance register. Okay. All right. So their case was that she is present because the attendance register says she is present, but she was not there in the school bus. So how can it be? So we, of course, uh, made our case on the basis of that, that there is the school policy. And of course, we can, the, the allegations leveled were of uh, 23rd, uh, 22nd and 23rd December. The entire day, she was not in the school. She did not come to school. In this school bus, of course, because she was not there and she was not uh, there when the school, uh, after the school, when the school bus was uh, dropping off the children. So she was not there. So the allegation is of uh, the incident which she, which her mother say that took place in the school bus. And the only occasion where, the, uh, where, where the, this kid could be in the school bus is either when she was coming or when she was going. So she's not there. Other thing that how the attendance register uh, is uh, showing that she is present, then the CCTV footages of the entire school were taken and she was not to be found in the school. Not in her classroom, not in the corridor. Every children, uh, every child coming towards the classroom was, of course, it can be seen in the CCTV, but this kid never showed up. So the mother was using this child to settle scores with the, the school administration. And this man spent good two and a half, I think two and a half, three years in custody because of this case. And after that, he got bail and case, of course, still going. So you, can you imagine the the plight of the family where a person who has an unblemished record of 30 years has been accused of something so heinous and who has not done that offence, what will be the plight of that family? A person spending around two and a half, three years in custody. Family, trust me, I spent on this case out of my pocket. The family was on the verge of starvation.
and the society's pressure is completely different. Of course, of course, that's there in in, in uh, I see. I'll, I'll tell you this. I'll, I'll of course I won't shy away, and I'll tell you this as a criminal law practitioner, and of course uh, one of my specialty specialties being uh, sexual offences. ये जो tag है ना accused के ऊपर से this never goes. Never goes. Away. See, even if you are acquitted. This will be there because society के दिमाग में वो नहीं होता कुछ तो किया होगा तभी तो ऐसे केस नहीं बना सो ये ये जो आउटलुक है दिस वेरी नोशन दैट दिस इज दिस टिगमा दैट स्टेज सो ऑफकोर्स ही हैज टू लिव विद इट फॉर फॉर इज एंटायर लाइफ फॉर इज एंड हिज जॉब इज गॉन चिल्ड्रन सफर्ड हिज वाइफ सफर्ड he during this time he lost his father jo actually mein jinke sath galat hua hai jo victims hai actually mein jo victims hai unke cases bhi overlook ho jate hain because aise kis judiciary ko bhi samajh mein aata hai yaar they can see what has happened so they take decisions on the basis of law as well as on factual aspects of course sirf keh dene bhar se offense nahi ban jayega na सिर्फ एलिगेशन लगे लगाने से नहीं बन जाएगा ना वो फाइल पे भी तो कंक्रीट होना चाहिए इवन इन इन द द द द सोसाइटी आल्सो डिस्कशन डिस्कशन हैपनिंग नो अरे हमारे है सच है या गलत है ऐसे भी शुरू हो जाते हैं एक इंसान जो सेक्सुअल ऑफेंस के लिए अक्यूज बनाया गया है उसके तीन ट्रायल्स चलते हैं ये मैं बोलता हूँ एक तो एक्चुअली में जो ट्रायल है जो कोर्ट में चल रहा है एक सोसाइटी का ट्रायल चल रहा है और एक मीडिया ट्रायल चल रहा है बाकी दो ट्रायल्स की जरूरत नहीं है बट वो चलते हैं और वो एंडलेस है उनका कभी कभी भी उन ट्रायल्स का एंड नहीं है और डिसीजन नहीं है डिसीजन ऑफकोर्स है एक अनसेफ डिसीजन है बट वो एंडलेस है वो हमेशा रहेंगे वो अपनी रेजिडेंस चेंज कर लेगा अपना प्रोफेशन चेंज कर लेगा अपनी जॉब चेंज कर लेगा बट वो स्टिगमा रहेगा राइट right. और ये अब अब चेंज होना चालू हुआ है बिकॉज हमारे हमारे लीडर्स ने हमारे एज इन फ्रॉम प्रोफेशन आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट हमारे जो लीडिंग एडवोकेट्स हैं और जो जोरिस्ट हैं उन्होंने ये लिया कि जो आइडेंटिटी प्रोटेक्ट आप सेक्शुअल ऑफेंसेस में विक्टिम की कर रहे हो वो जरूरी है कि आप एक्यूज की भी करो एक्यूज की भी करो राइट तो आप उसका नाम तो वो हो गया पब्लिक उसने नहीं किया बट वो रहेगा सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो देन दिस अनाउंसमेंट फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑल्सो केम you have to protect the identity of the of the accused also abhi pure tarike se nahi ho raha hai but of course ek initiative hai which is much appreciated and it should be done